Good evening, guys. This is freaking awesome. We are in the Shark Tank. 350,000 gallons. We got bonnet heads up here that are small hammer heads. We also had a, a zebra shark that was kind of circling me a short time ago. Oh, here he is. They're called zebra sharks because when they are born, they are black and white. And they have black and white stripes. And part of me while I'm trying to catch my breath, but the best way to understand these creatures is to dive deep down into their environment with them, which is exactly what we were doing and exactly what we got the privilege to do when we dove deep down near Guadalupe Island and came eye to eye with great white sharks. Shark! This water that we're standing in is 200 feet deep. These sharks have a lot of places to hide, as you might imagine. So one thing that these expeditions kind of help to do is identify the different sharks surrounding Guadalupe Island. So far, they've identified 172. Custom designed for shark seekers. With deeply and slowly. The 116 foot long Nautilus Explorer is a one of a kind craft for daredevil divers like the Wynn family. Yesterday celebrated my 10th anniversary of a bone marrow transplant, so I'm a very lucky leukemia survivor. We descend 30 feet into the deep with only steel bars separating us from a mouthful of three inch serrated razor sharp teeth. This trip you really waited your entire life to do. Yeah, yes, absolutely. It's hard to put a word on it, but uh, it was amazing, really amazing. Not only do fin finders from all over the world travel to this small volcanic island to learn the science behind great white sharks. There's something about facing things that you're a little bit afraid of. Niels Frousing from Denmark tells me after he lost his teenage son to suicide, the feared fish thought to cause scars can actually help heal them. To me, quite meditative and then uh, I like sharks a lot. Identifying them helps researchers learn about these somewhat mysterious animals and their voyage to this isolated island 160 miles off the west coast of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. The white sharks have always been there, but we're seeing them maybe more often because the temperatures are changing and the white sharks are looking for different places to forage, especially the juveniles. Plus, marine biologists boast more than South Africa or even Australia, this part of the Pacific has more shark sighting consistency with better water visibility than other oceans. Here in this area, the sharks are protected by the Mexican government. Guadalupe Island is a biosphere reserve. And though they may be the most mysterious and feared creatures in the sea, living here on our California coast allows us a unique way to study these eco-essential sharks like no other place in the world. How beautiful is this animal? It's so fascinating. When you're down here, you kind of get to know how they all have a little bit of character. If you look over here with this little fishes, uh, where the other scuba diver the tank is, you can see bubbles. He goes to the mask of the scuba divers because he loves how the bubbles are. <laughs> I'm actually more afraid of him than the sharks because he'll kind of nip you by accident as he's checking you out. So it's really beautiful. And I got to tell you, when I was down there diving with the great whites, you feel so just at peace. You almost felt like you could leave the cage. I know it sounds absolutely insane, but we really at no point felt threatened. None of the divers who went down there. After this live shot, I'm going to be live tweeting. <laughs> How cool is it? I'm almost speechless. It's just too cool. Uh, I'm going to be live tweeting, so please tweet me any questions for sharks uh, at Christina KTLA. Also, we're going to have all the information on how you can help shark conservation efforts on our website, ktla.com. And that is the latest from here, reporting live from 350,000 gallons of water in a shark tank. I'm Christina Pascucci. Uh -huh. There she is. One to remember. Incredible footage again tonight, Christina.